Sí. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. 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 We want to first start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. A double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who rule well. Okay, peace and salutations to the elect brothers out there pre preaching the word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Okay, we the GMS Dallas camp. Just coming back at you with another open forum. Okay, July 30th, 2022. And hey, we already in the uh, latter part of this year, man, 2022. Matter of fact, uh, we, can, we can start at Matthew 24, where it says, uh, the Lord making the day shorter for the very elect sake. Because, hey, the scripture is speaking about the elect, man, most of the time, man. Okay, you got three you got three characteristics of uh, men on the planet. You got the sons of God, which are the Israelites. You got the sons of the wicked, which are the so-called white man Esau Edom. And then you got uh, the, the heathen nations, man, which are the sons of men. Okay. Now, in these latter days, man, we're looking at a lot of judgment taking place, but the Lord said what? He would make the days shorter for the very elect's sake, man, okay? And that's what we said happen, man. We already at the end of July, okay? And what does that mean? Hey, 2023 right around the corner, man. So although we would think that the, 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 the salvation and the, uh, the, the redemption of our people is far off when we first come into this truth, hey, this is a blink of an eye around the corner, man, you know? Hey, the, the scriptures talk about Yahweh coming quickly, man, and what his reward is with him, you know. So hey, that's what we cling on to. We cling on to prophecy, okay. We we cling on to the righteous judgment of the Lord, and we're looking at that play out, manifesting every day, man. Okay, people getting judged at an all time high, man. People having platforms with all out silly, petty arguments, okay. The the wickedness of these people are being shown in the forefront, okay. You want to get that scripture, uh, Matthew? Uh, this is Matthew, <clears throat> Matthew chapter 24, and I'll start at verse 21. It reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Right. Then shall be great tribulation, for no, not, not has ever shall be at this uh, since this time, man. Let's talk about Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? That's a time that's, that, that's going to be like never have been on the planet Earth. Okay? And the scriptures speak about this time, man. It wasn't Back in Egypt, it was when we was getting chased by the Philistines or the Canaanites or the, or the soldiers of Pharaoh. It wasn't back in the Medio Persian Empire when we got taken down by the media by the Medes and the Persians, man. Okay, it wasn't back during the time of the, of the temple getting sacked. Okay, Daniel spoke about a time in chapter twelve, verse one, about a day like it's never been before, and that's a day that's approaching quick, man. That's a, that's the day in the future, but it's prophesied by the Bible. You got it. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse 22 and except those days be shortened should be so like it and except those days should be shortened There should no flesh be saved But for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened right and that's the reason why Yahweh shall die man for the elect's sake so he could be gathered amongst those who the Lord gave him from the beginning Okay, so that he's shortening the days for the very elect's sake right. because if he didn't hey, no flesh should be saved not even the elect this devil, man, this white man, he got a real purpose to put this MOTB in you, man, to make you a spiritual first and then a physical slave, man. Okay, for the rest of for the rest of the days that he be in power. But the Lord said what? He was gonna lift up a standard and set these uh men against him, man. Okay, through the spirit and power of by Shima Al Shah. So that's what we're looking and praying uh, praying for, man. That's that's why we stand on our watch as a watchman, uh alluding to what the scriptures say in Habakkuk, man. Okay, because we're supposed to prophesy. And let you know how close these times are are, are, are to come. You know, prophesy means which means say, and uh, pro means say uh, uh, before, and uh, to side means to, to say to say before. Okay, that's what a prophet's job is. Uh, if we can go to the second Ezra sixteen, if I can have real, got real quick up. before you go. Uh, and, and this show this this shows just like the brother mentioned in uh, Daniel the twelfth chapter too. You know what I'm saying? This shows how bad it's going to be, man. You know what I'm saying? These times, which is Jacob's trouble. That we're coming into it's going to be terrible man so uh uh you know those days are going to have to be shortened you know and for the elect's sake you know what i'm saying because they're going to be so terrible you know what i'm saying so, so such a bad time you know what i'm saying so i just want to make the point 
that it's going to be, that's why it says that, that uh, except those days be short, uh, there shall, should be no flesh uh, left. And which proves that this devil is going to be going really hard, man. Uh, what's that? Revelation, the 12th chapter, 12 and 12. The devil's about to come down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short period of time, man. You know what I'm saying? And his rulership is almost over. We're at the end of this devil's kingdom, man. And he's going down. And the next stop for this nigga is slavery, man. So he finna go balls to the wall, man. So this time, that's like like Daniel said, it's not going to be, you've never seen what you're about to see. You're only going to see it once, and then the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. You never see it again. So that shows how special of a time that this is about to be, man. You know what I'm saying? Can I read one real quick? Mm -hmm. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 22. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Okay, and that word mean that word means straits, meaning difficult, man. Okay, and if, and, and he is talking about the so-called uh, white man Esau, man. So in the fullness, the, in the fullness of the so-called white man Esau, either sufficiency, he shall be in straits in difficult times. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him, and when he is about to fulfill his belly, the most shall the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And how is he about to fill his belly? He's about to fill his belly with the agenda of uh, implanting you, so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, with the MOTB, man. Okay? And once he does that, he's going to know that what? He has uh, penetrated the most high's uh, chosen chosen people. Okay? He, he, he is what? Uh, he is not the trouble, <laughs> but he has taken the, the woman, man, mm -hmm. and which is which is Israel. Right. Okay? Because we're likened to the woman of Yahweh by Shemel Hashem. And he knows once he do, does that, and, uh, and our people don't cry out, what? He owns us, man. Okay? But the, the Lord said, hey, in the fullness of his, his, of his efficiency, the most high rabbit is going to come upon him, man. Every hand of the wicked, meaning these other nations, okay, even even these other Edomites, man. You got Russia over there gearing up, okay, uh, 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 putting out their plans in the open, saying, look, you keep on pester, uh, 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 antagonizing us with these sanctions and giving these Ukrainians weapons, and we're gonna get busy on y'all, man. Okay, that's hey, that's that's uh Mark 3 and 24. No, no, uh, a house shall not uh, a house divided shall not stand, you know. Thank you. Read the one more time, bro. God. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 22. It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Mm -hmm. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. That's going to see your everyday labor, man. Mm -hmm. So he saw when he saw is trying to fulfill his well, matter of fact, keep going, bro. Then I it says, when he is about to fill his belly, mm -hmm. the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Yeah, so when he's about to be fully, when he's about to fully be, fully set forth the new world order, the Most High is going to cast his wrath upon him, man. Meaning during that time, him trying to set it up, he's gonna, it's going to be a time of difficulty, man, because you're going to have people revolting. And Esau is going to have trouble setting up that new world order, man. It's not going to be something he can just easily do. Right. You know, he's going to have resistance. You know, but when he thinks he's about to get everything set, the most high is gonna throw throw his full wrath upon him, man. You know, he's not gonna be able to fulfill that enterprise, man. You see? And like the brother, uh, you you had pulled that precept earlier about no flesh will uh, be, you know, if the, if the most high didn't shorten the days, then it will be no flesh left. That means including animals as well, man. Because mm -hmm. Esau's Esau's way is it is it is as death, man. You know, he don't follow the law, statute, and commandments, man. Right. You know, the, the most I gave us uh, the law, statute, and commandment on how to run the world, how everything should be ran, man. Esau's go contrary to uh, contrary to that. That's why everything is dying, man. And ultimately, you know, it wouldn't be we wouldn't be flesh anymore because Esau be to change us into something else, right? You know, just like he's trying to do with the food, just like he did with the food, the GMOs, just like he did with the animals. Now he want to get inside of you and change you and make you into his creation. You know, you wouldn't be what the most High made. You would be some Esau that made now. Right. You know? Right. Hey, you I got this is Ephesians 6, um, starting verse 12. Mm -hmm. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And like you say, we, we wrestle against Esau. Esau basically know. Uh, like especially the elites that they are the wickedness of this world and they know because they have their 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 spiritual aspect of things which is on the left hand side and they actually uh, utilize it and what they're doing is basically 
setting up for what is that? Um, uh, Second uh, Corinthians ten, where it say that we um. Yeah, ten. Break down the strongholds. Yeah, break down the strongholds. So basically, they they are getting prepared, and we and we see what Esau is doing because we're not ignorant to his devices. But like you say, that's overall when you look at it, it's a spiritual aspect. <coughs> when he set his agenda up, he's doing it on the left hand side, and we have to understand that he's going to get to a point where when he says he's about to fill his belly. He get to a point where he's gonna say, "Well, I'm gonna accomplish it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be, I'm gonna be the Most High," mm -hmm. and that's when the Lord is gonna come and, and put smackdown on Esau. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, verse thirteen. It says, "Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh was shot, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand." So we have to keep pushing to do all we can do to stand for, because this dude's gonna come with so much. Wickedness because he want to become like the most high. And what is that the NRB all is trying to get that corroborate into? But to get through all that, we're gonna go through a lot of chaos. And it's gonna be caused by him because he's gonna bring forth what trying to bring forth what? That new world order. And if I can add too, it says put on the whole armor of the, of the most high. What's the whole armor, man? This this knowledge, man, this word, you know, knowing the name, Jehovah Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, to be able to call on those names because it says in uh, Proverbs 18 and 10, a strong tower, the righteous run into it and are safe. And then you got to have that faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Without those, man, you that's not you don't have the whole armor, man. So you got to put you got to put on all of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I'm all right, this second edge is 6 and 18. It says, uh, and it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And I will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when I'm just gonna say, the Lord is making inquisition of people right now, man. Okay, the scriptures talk about everyone's gonna have to what, basically sit on the Judgment seat of Yahweh Shah, man. That, that judgment seat, whether you be done, done uh, good or bad, okay. And the Lord is making that exposition right now. People are living out their judgments and they don't even know it, man. Okay, from the lame man missing the limb, okay, from the, from the blind man, even if somebody getting folded up in a car wreck, man. Mm. Everybody is playing out and living what they what, what they being judged for right now on the planet Earth. And people are coming through reincarnation and being born um just to just to get burned up in the nukes, man. Right. Okay. Babies are being born just so they can experience the, the missiles when they when they hit the planet Earth, man. Okay, so the Lord is making inquisition, and we're seeing it happen right now, man. Okay. Yeah, this word. It says, uh, "I want to get that word in." Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just the etymology of that word. It says, "A judicial investigation, act a process of inquiry." Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, hey, an act of process of inquiring because when you inquire about something. What are you doing? You are investigating. You're trying to you're trying to see what the pros and cons of something is. Okay, how can it benefit you? What is the benefit of it to the environment? And the Lord is basically making an imposition of what the two thirds of our people. Okay, these heathen nations and, and primarily Esau, Edom, to say, hey, these people are not fit for the next world to come, man. Right. So what? I'm gonna do away with them, man. All right. So that's why our people are what being compelled to repent from the uh, from the prophets on the highways and byways, so that what. You be hid in that evil day. You don't get that wicked, uh, I mean, that, that, that left high, that left side inquisition from the uh, most high's judgment, you know? It says a searching into, a seeking, legal examination, a, a seeking of grounds for ex accusation. A seeking of grounds for accusation. He getting, the, he getting the evidence on you to what? Either deem you as somebody righteous or deem you as somebody wicked, okay? That's a beautiful definition. Hey, what's what's an example of that in the scripture you can go on to? You can dwell during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. When the angels told Abraham, we're gonna go down now and see if the cry of Sodom is as great as we as we heard, man. Yeah. Okay. They made their inquisition. That's why the angels went into the town and they, you know, and they, you know, and Lot was there, man. You know, and they did all that shit happened. And then what did they tell Lot? Oh man, hey man, we're gonna destroy this place. Mm -hmm. That's all we had to see. Hey, they, they, they hit the gavel. <laughs> this, this shit gotta go. You know what I'm saying? But okay, this is back in 2nd Andrew 6 and uh, verse 19. It says, 
and I will begin to make inquisition of them with uh, what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Right, when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And if uh, we can go to Jeremiah 49 and 12, because see, the affliction of Zion is pretty much almost uh, fulfilled, according to prophecy, man. Because what, Deuteronomy 30, when you go from verse 1 on down to verse 7, it, it talks about how our people was put under them curses, but what? Those curses were going to be put on our enemies, man. Okay, in the latter days, and we're in that latter day. Okay, um, Jeremiah 49 and 12, just real quick. Jeremiah 49 and 12 says, For thus said Yahweh, mm -hmm. behold, uh, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, right? They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, being the Israelites. Okay, we're the sons of God, we weren't put down here to be just put in, in slavery. Okay, but hey, oh Adam, what has thou done? Us? Okay, mm -hmm. Adam first being. First being the one that sinned, okay, after Eve, of course, but because we went off, we had to serve what our punishment in captivity to recognize what the difference of good and bad or good and evil is, yep. okay? So they who judge judgment was not the drink of the cup, Hebrew says, of the cup have surely drunk it. We have surely drank it because we did go into slavery. We went into slavery over here in America, and it's been more than 400 years, man. Right. All right, this is not, this is not fulfilling Ge uh, Genesis 15 and 13. Okay, we feel that back in the first captivity of uh, ancient Egypt. All right. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Uh, read that one more time, brother. Uh, it says, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Right, so it's asking, it's asking you the rulers of, or the Chaldeans or the rulers of Babylon, are you all the people who shouldn't go unpunished? Or are thou someone who will not go unpunished? No. Because so-called white man, he's ran his tab up too. Okay, he's ran his tab up in full business, man. Witchcraft, sorcery, okay, uh, usury, okay, putting the so uh, putting you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans in slavery for hundreds of years. Okay, he ran his tab up, and also he committed blasphemy against the Most High and the Son, man. So hey, he he's he, he's not somebody who's not going to go unpunished. Right. He is. It's a little bit more on that. Uh, it says. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right, you're going to surely drink of it. And the book of Revelation 17 and 18 talk about him drinking of that cup, man. The, the dregs of that cup, meaning hey, the, little, the, the, the bottom of that beer with all the peanuts and spit in it, man. You're going to get the worst part of judgment that any nation has ever gotten on the planet Earth, man. We'll keep going a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 13, For I have sworn, uh, sworn by myself, said Yahweh, that Basra... <laughs> Shall become a desolation, right? In Basra, that's the chief city of Edom. But what is the chief city or chief uh, nation or, or country of Edom mm -hmm. right now? It's America, that's right. okay? And now they also have dealings with these other nations like Israel, okay, Great Britain, and the UK. But it's primarily America, okay? And it, and it says that chief city Basra is going to be what a desolation. Mm -hmm. And America, according to the scriptures, Revelations 18, 17, 9, okay, it goes into what. That utter annihilation, uh, Rebel, uh, Isaiah 13, Isaiah 34, that utter innate annihilation of America through what? Thermonuclear missiles, man. So that's how the chief city of Bible is going to become a what? A desolation. That's right. It says, a reproach, a waste, mm -hmm. and a curse, mm -hmm. and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> you got it. Uh, they, like, uh, like you said, it's going to be a perpetual waste. So everything here is going to be sought out. Taken, looted, and, and and received, and taken away from you. So, all right, and like I say, this is the modern day Basra, right? <coughs> all right, because this, this is the 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 hammer of the earth. This is what Babylon the Great, aka America. All right, so that that greatness is is, is seen here. So, what's the Lord going to do? The Lord's raised this mighty kingdom up that's led by who? Esau, Edom, and it's going to be brought down. All right, and he's going to show his power. When he bring it, like you say, when them chariots crack, crack those clouds. But he's gonna, like you say, let Esau do what he can to think he's winning. Like I'm gonna fill my building, I'm gonna finish. Everything is done. But like I said, he's gonna make this place a desolation. And if I can add to uh, the, the the previous verse, where at the end where it says, uh, read that last part at the end of the previous verse. Huh? It says, "Thou shalt." Uh, this is verse uh, Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. Thou shalt not go unpunished. But thou shalt surely drink of it. And that that's that's that, that cup that it was talking about 
that the nation of Israel drank of, which is going to represent of that double straits and that slavery that we went into. It says that he's going to uh, uh, he's going to drink of that same cup, which which lines up perfectly with Revelations 13 and 10. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because you got like the, the likes of vocab alone and a lot of uh, uh, unlearned, you know, these Christians and, and people who don't understand how these scriptures work. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 28 and 10 says line, uh, 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 line, uh, what is it? Line upon line. Uh, a precept must be a line, precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to know how to deal with this Bible. But uh, even on top of that, you got to have the discernment uh, uh, from the Lord to be able to, dis to uh, discern these scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? The ISAL, you know what I'm saying? If, if you don't have that, you can even go precept upon precept, line upon line, and you still won't have the, uh, the right understanding, man. You know, because the Lord has to give that understanding to you. You know, and that's why cats like vocab don't understand these things. Esau is going into slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, that's it's it's, it's going to happen. That's that cup that those, those uh, dregs, like the like the uh, the Kahan mentioned, they're going to drink of those, man. And all the scriptures back that you know throughout the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to add that point. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, because I did forget to go into that. Those dregs are talking about the same cup that we drunk of, which is slavery, man. And that man, the so-called white man, if anybody be put in slavery, man, it would be him, man. Mm -hmm. Esau, Edom, man, for all the hatred, the, the, the vile things that you, you've done on the planet Earth, man. The, the scriptures talk about him being the basis man that he set over us, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because these people used to live in caves and, and, and eat on their own uh, feces, man, and, and, and uh, uh, underwears, man, you know? Yep. This is, uh, let me see, this is James 2 and 13. <clears throat> so like it says, for he shall have judgment without mercy, that have shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. You see, that's why Esau is not gonna have any mercy, man, because he showed no mercy unto the nation of Israel, man. When you read the scripture, it said that he had a perpetual hatred for the nation of Israel, shed them and shed the blood by the sword, man. You know, it said he didn't show favor to the old or the young, man. Matter of fact, it, it said that he showed no man. I forgot what scripture. Thinking like in Jer Jeremiah, like you showed no mercy, or you had no pity, man. Yeah. You I know, know it's one in Isaiah forty-seven. That oh, might, yeah. yeah, that might be it, bro. You know, you want to get it? Yeah, yeah, grab it right quick, bro. You know, that's why Esau's judgment is gonna be so harsh, man. Right. Because like it just said, man, he shall have judgment without mercy. They have showed no mercy, man. You see, Esau, we that nigga actual brother, man. This nigga showed no mercy to his brother, bro. Mm -hmm. You know. Got it. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 6. And it reads, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance mm -hmm. and given them into thine hand. Mm -hmm. Thou didst show them no mercy. Yep. See? So he saw this show our people no mercy, man. Just look at the times like brothers go into examples all the time, man. During the time of, uh, of slavery, man. When Jacob was in hardcore captivity, he saw this show no mercy, bro. I mean, this nigga went ham, and this is it's still shit we don't know, you know, and we're gonna find out further on. That's why his judgment is gonna be so harsh, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep going, bro. Come upon the ancient, has thou very heavily laid thy yoke? Yeah, even on the old, you know. Mm -hmm. I had our grandmother. It's, st it's still to this day, bro. Right. Got our people working 60, 70 years old, yeah, man. Yeah, come fucking through. Still trying to fucking know the damn work that the, the SSI check ain't enough, man. Right. You know. He saw man, hey, hey bro, that's why your mercy is gonna be. That's why, hey man, that's why they did that, uh, that parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Yeah. <clears throat> he said, man, just, just, man, if you could just dip your finger in some way and then drop, drop a drop uh, drop of water on my tongue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's trying to get some kind of relief, but you ain't gonna get no fucking relief, man. Yeah. Look how hard, look what you did to our people, man. So the Lord and the Lord hates you, bro. Yep. If the Lord did this to us, imagine what he's gonna do to somebody he hates. That's right. You know. And if I can add, just for any Christians or unlearned that may, may be watching, that ain't talking about no uh, 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 actual fire, you know, because they go to that, they go to that, that uh, uh, scripture oh, yeah, yeah, okay. in Luke talking, thinking that it's actually talking about hell, an actual place you go to burn, man. It's a parable. Mm -hmm. It's a parable. It's not that you don't take it literal. It's basically a, 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 a what's the word? Uh, kind of like, kind of like an assembly, a, a, a assembly, but it's a, it's a, it's a, saying earthly saying with a heavenly so-called heavenly meaning so roughly paraphrase you know what i'm saying so it's not a it's not a, a thing that you take literally man mm -hmm. you know so when he when he's dipping this 
a, a finger and wants, wants that. That's just like the Quran mentioned it is he wants relief. He's going to want mercy. <laughs> That's what that represents because we're going to be going hard on him, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be in hardcore slavery and we're going to go hard on him. And he's going to want mercy. That's what that represents. It's a parable, man. Just understand that. So I just want to make that point. That's right. All right. Yeah. Bring one up. Uh, this is Revelations 18 and 5 and 6. It says, I was just thinking about that. This is scary, bro. Yeah. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven. And Yahweh Shemalashah has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Mm. And double unto her accordingly to her works in the cup which she has filled uh filled filled to her double so these things that we received the lord is saying that hey esau finna receive double that like i said he went you went there early like that 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 uh slavery that what goes into that five thousand years i mean i mean a thousand years they're gonna have to get, uh, go to that harsh slavery that harsh servitude so what do they do to us when you look at the uh history of, of the, the kingdom that had Israel in captivity <coughs> we this is like one of the the most harshest captivity if not, it is the most harsh captivity that we've been in all right Egypt wasn't you know like you say he wasn't the, the best but damn he saw here basically now he plagued our minds spiritually so he basically has gotten our lives so he totally destroyed the nation of Israel that's why in Jeremiah 25 and around the 28th verse the Lord told Israel that we were going to drink of that cup. And he said we were surely going to drink of it. So now he's telling Esau that he's surely going to drink of it double. He's going to fill it up to the top, to the brim. All right? And he's going to drink all of it, even the dregs. That's why, you know, like I say, he's going to receive double. This is what's coming. Slavery. All right? The, the Esau, Esau is going to have to deal with it, starting with the elites of, 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 his, uh, of uh, uh, Edom. You know what I'm saying? Starting with the elites. I got something, bro. You just made a point, you know what I'm saying? Going into like uh, slavery. Mm -hmm. It's Daniel 9 and 12, and he had confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Mm -hmm. But under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And we drew, hey, we are people before we are placed, man. Yep. You know, ain't nobody ever went through uh, slavery like Jake went through slavery, man. Right. They know that this slavery over here in America. So-called Negro Latinos, Native Americans went through, man. You know, they can't compare it to anything that happened in the past. Slavery compared to the, you know, in the past, man. Exactly. You know, that's how you know we them people, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, bro, he woke us and made us forget who we are. Other nations know who they are, <laughs> but the nation of Israel forgot who they are. And what did they do after they made us forget who we are? They claimed the, they claimed that they were the real Israel, like they the the. Uh, the the JWS. You don't want to say it today. <laughs> cut y'all. <off>, cut your, <laughs> your page. But yeah, we, we're, you know, they basically stole stole our, our heritage <coughs> and, and basically whooped, whooped the, who we are out of us. Yep. <laughs> and that, if I can add real quick, just to, to make a point on that, on that, uh, uh, the, the brother just read in Revelations uh, uh, that these devils are going to pay double. You know, for what for for the things that they did to us, man. When when you when you think about that, you you got these cats out here that don't have the spirit, and and they're trying to go to the whole four hundred year thing. Mister Khan mentioned it uh, uh, briefly uh, not too long ago. That four hundred year thing, and they're trying to apply that to now here in America. That's not talking about here, man. And that very scripture uh, uh, proves that it's not talking about here, man, because mm -hmm. the four hundred years. Him paying double is only adds up to 800 years. The scriptures don't speak of an 800 year, you know, but when you read in Revelation, the 20th chapter, it speaks of a thousand year mm -hmm. uh, a prophecy that when the, the Messiah returns, he's going to rule with, with his elect, with the elect. And they're, they're going to set up this a thousand year prophecy, which lines up because we uh, uh, this devil has has had us uh, uh, for uh, 500 plus years, man. When you when you include the northern kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing goes back further than, than 1619 or 1620. It goes back to, to 1492 with the Northern Kingdom. When you add that up from then to, from now, from then to now, that's 500 years, 500, a little over 500 years, 500 plus years, man, which lines up with the thousand year prophecy in Revelation, the 20th chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to, that first thousand years, they're going to be in that uh, uh, that hardcore slavery when Yahweh returns, man. 
That's why when you read in Luke, the, uh, what's that, the 17th chapter, uh, uh, he, he, he that is my enemy that, would, that I would not reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. It goes into it also in Isaiah, the 60th chapter. You know what I'm saying? The nation that 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 uh, uh, don't want to bow and basically serve you, you know, is going to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that thousand year period when the, the Messiah returned that is speaking of in Revelation, the 20th chapter. So it has to line up, man. If it don't line up, it you know, it don't make dollars. It, has, it don't make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? It has to line up, you know, for it to make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? So that 400 year prophecy is, is, you know, they need to cut that out, man. Right. It's not what it's talking about. Y'all say, I'm about to make a point too, bro. Because clearly the scriptures tell us that no man knoweth the, you know, the time of the day, not even the sun, right. but only the father. You know? So if, it, if according to you niggas, if it was actually, if it was, if it was actually the 400 year prophecy was actually true, it would be a nigga up until that time right. where he know, oh, right. I, I got like a year to get right. Yep, right. You know? How the Lord did what he did, bro. Yeah. You know, that's why he said no man no, you know, the, not even the son, man. Mm -hmm. You see, and secondly, we ain't even leaving out of America in these fucking bodies, man. That's right. So how the hell are we gonna get out of how the hell are we gonna come out of America with great substance, right. man? We ain't even leaving with these damn bodies, man. Right. America's gonna be destroyed. Right. So what are you niggas talking about, man? Yeah, man, for real, man. And the Lord is brutal, you know. The Lord said he's gonna reward these devils double, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Lord, the Lord is not lollipops and, and, and daddy lines, man. Hey, and that's that's the reason why you niggas can't get it. Even you damn sisters who, who, who claim to be Christians, okay, which which really you all are practicing Satanism at the end of the day. Right. But you all can't get it because the Lord ain't choosing you, man. The Lord, the, the Lord is with his men, the flock of his pasture. Mm -hmm. Okay, alluding to what is that Ezekiel uh, 30, 35, yeah. 35, 31. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with his men, man. And the only the only men that are really gonna hold swiftly and fastly to this truth is the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Sure. That one third body, man. Everybody else, man, you all gonna not leave this place, man. You're gonna burn up in this destruction of, of America, man. Sure. Okay. Um do you wanna go back to the second Israel? You got oh come on. Let's keep going on. Yeah, all right. Uh let's back in second interest chapter six in verse uh twenty, it says and when the world that shall be, uh, it's like it says, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show thee, will I show these tokens. Right, see, it says when the world shall begin to vanish away, then I will show these tokens. In the earlier part of this chapter, it talks about what? The end of this world, man. It says, hey, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the, is the beginning of it that follow. How is this earth vanishing away right now? Well, everything, man, the damn earth, it's uh, 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 one, uh, away. okay. The, the life of the earth, this man is drinking all the, the blood of the earth by uh, uh, polluting the oil and taking the oil out the earth, okay. He's polluting the water, the food is defiled. These children are damn disobedient, all hell. These women are wicked, and these niggas for sure is wicked, man. So, hey, the, the earth is the, the earth is vanishing away, okay. Read that one more time. Oh, you got one well, I want to read that. I'm gonna pull up a uh, token just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this second is 20, uh, it's like the second is 6 and 20. Mm -hmm. It says, And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, mm -hmm. then will I show these tokens. See, then he's going to show the tokens, and the tokens are the signs. See, the, yeah. the signs have been given to us through the prophets. And then, even when Yahweh said, uh, basically, you, you would know the end is near by what the rumors of wars, nation rising up against nation, okay, earthquake, famine, and great death. We're seeing the signs. That's what the word token means. You got it, brother. This is um, uh, in, what is that? Just Google token. I mean, token. It says a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, quality, or feeling. All right. So, what we're reading, like I said, when we start to see these things, it's showing you that it's a fact now. All right. This thing that we were uh, having faith that these things were going to happen. Now we're starting to see things are starting to be visible. So, now it's becoming what? A fact. All right, it's, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's yeah. a conspiracy fact because <laughs> hey, like like the elders have been bringing out lately, the word conspiracy just means when two or three are gathered in agreement. Yep. Okay, what do the scriptures say? When two or three are gathered yep. in my name, and there I am in the midst mm -hmm. of talking about Yahweh Shah, the spirit of Yahweh Shah. So hey, we'll be conspiracy theorists, man. But yep. we're starting to be conspiracy facts speakers. <clears throat> at the end of the day, as the brother bringing out. That's right. You got uh, well, just a little more adjective says. Done for the sake of appearances and as of a symbolic gesture. 
That is a symbolic gesture. Mm -hmm. And what and how's the uh how's the Lord been symbolically showing who his men are and showing who the men of the Lord are through prophecy? He said we would start what prophesying on the highways and byways, mm -hmm. okay, in the land where it says we are not the people, there we shall be called what the sons of the living power. Right. That's a sign. This word going out, alluding to Psalm 19, is also another sign, man. Okay, that yep. the, the scripture that talk about the internet, their, their line went forth throughout the uh, ends of the world. Mm -hmm. That that's talking about prophecy, man. Okay, you got to say for root too. You know, in the land of that captivity, they shall remember this. That's right. right. That's Revelation right. eleven and eight. <clears throat> and after three days and a half, the Most High, the breath of the Most High shall enter into them. They shall stand up on their feet, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I got something. Let's have a coup two and uh, three. It says, "But the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it." Terry, wait for it because it shall surely come. It shall surely come. It shall not tarry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read that in NLT. It says this vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It should. It will not be this uh this uh delayed. You know, like the brother said. They said that those tokens said what well, it said a fact, bro. You know. So the, hey man, these things like you said, man, the prophecies are speaking. They're coming to pass. They're becoming fact, man. People yep. can no longer no no longer deny it, man. That's why none can't stand up until the, the, the scriptures, man. Everything that tries to come up against the scripture gets totally uh uh you know cut down, man. You know, this is the only book that everybody is trying to debunk, and it can't yep. be debunked, man. You know, the spirit of the Lord, hey, that's why we hey the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. You see. Uh, uh, I, I really want just just you know because the, the, the brother was was going into uh how how every you know everything is through the, the women the, the kids the people you know all these all this stuff is through and that's why the lord is going to have to just go ahead and just destroy this place man so i'm gonna bring this out real quick this is that 24 and 1 behold the lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants of so the lord is going to empty the earth man you know what i'm saying that's what it's going to take. That's the actual reset, the great reset. There's a new great reset, a real one, you know, not the one that this nigga is talking about, you know, the, the great reset and all that that you hear from this devil, man. You know, there's a great reset and and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is at the helm of it, man. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to empty the earth and, and it kind of, uh, what's that, uh, a new heaven and a new earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Revelation 21, you know, I'm going to drop down to verse three. It says, the land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled for the Lord has spoken this word, man. So the Lord, again, the Lord is going to completely uh, uh, empty and destroy everything, man. Verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Uh, uh, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And that word uh, language, when you when you go into it, uh, means to uh, uh, to be weak. You know what I'm saying? Exhausted. And every, Exactly, exhausted. Mm -hmm. and, every, and you can see that clearly. We're at the end of this devil's uh, 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 rulership, man. Everything is growing weak. Everything, the, the economy is about to collapse. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the uh, uh, the car I mentioned, man. Uh, uh, you know, you can see it in in, in, the, in the nature of the people. You know, the, these wicked ass kids. You know, uh, the women. You know what I'm saying? Everything is is destroying this place. So it says everything is going to uh, uh, fade away, man. And it says uh, the haughty people of the earth, which is when you go on that word haughty, it means proud, man. You know that word pr uh, haughty is proud. So these proud ass people. And, and of course, we know Esau is that proud man. You know what I'm saying? He's the man uh, of pride, and and he's he's uh, uh, put that uh, that spirit uh, uh, vibration mm -hmm. in in the earth, man. And now he has Jake proud as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So excuse my French. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but he's got Jake out here proud. You know some pride shit. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is gonna do away with that crap, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got something? Go, go ahead, out for you, bro. Go ahead, out. So rock ten. It says in verse, in verse two, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. For what manner of man the rule of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. There it is. And that's and that's plain, man. You know, so as the ruler is going to be, the, you know, everything else is going to be the same, man. You know what I'm saying? So what, whatever he's putting out there, which this nigga has only put out uh, 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 lies, deception, evil, wicked. You know what I'm saying? everything contrary to the lord so that's what that's what everything is all about man in this place that's why it's got to go man you know what i'm saying so back in isaiah 24 and 5 the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws 
changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant, man. You know, Esau, who did that, man? Esau did that crap, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's he's the one that the uh, earth has been given into his hand. Uh, uh, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. We know who the wicked is. So the Malachi uh, uh, 1 and 4, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Esau, man. So, so the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. You know what I'm saying? They transgress the laws because it's contrary to the Lord, man. He he created him that way, man. You know, this nigga is not upright. There is no righteousness in him, man. It's not going to happen. The scriptures tell you that. You know what I'm saying? And it says he changed the ordinances and broke broke the everlasting uh, uh, covenant, man. You know, that brotherly covenant, man. And, it, and and from back then to now, this nigga is still breaking that covenant, man. It's putting Jake to death left and right, man. You know, because he's, a, he's the devil, man. He's the wicked. Got something? Real quick. This is uh, Surat uh, 12, verse 8. It says, a friend cannot be known in prosperity, and the enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Hey, and like I say, uh, Esau, how can you not say that the, the so-called white man isn't the devil? All right? The, you can't say that he's not Esau. He's not the end of, of this world. All right? Because, shit, to these adversities, who was at the helm of, 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 of the... Who's the main man that's causing all this? Even when you look at Joe B, you know what I'm saying? He's he's basically just the face of, of all. Even though we know that he, he's a puppet, we got the elites, but who is the face of all this wickedness that, and everything's going to start breaking down? Who is in control of these things? All right? You can't say, uh, Jake, you can't say no so-called black, Latino, Native American. All right? It's, when you see the, the these summits and all these, you have what? Hell face, uh, the one that you can see forth through their skin. Esau Edom. Those are the so-called uh that's so-called white men. That is the devil that's running the earth. So we just based off the adversity, the things that's happening, you gotta look and say, who is the devil that's causing all of this? Mm -hmm. We know ultimately it's the Lord, but who is he using to cause this to come come about? Esau Edom, the damn devil. Yeah, who opposes it? <laughs> Who opposes himself above all that is called the most high. Mm -hmm. Those covenants after the working of Satan. Mm -hmm. yeah, who the hell is that talking about? Man? Right. A process of elimination now. Who <laughs> out of all the people on the planet, Earth, out of all the nations, process of uh, elimination. Who's who got them characteristics, man? Right. Esau Edom, man. Mm -hmm. All figures point to that nigga, man. Yep, right. You know. I got one more verse, bro. One more verse. This is back in Isaiah 24 and 6. And it reads, Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Mm. So it says, therefore, hath the curse devoured the earth, which, of course, ultimately that curse is destruction. But the chariots, it represents the chariots that's going to also bring destruction, man. Right. You know, when you read, what's that, Zechariah, right. fifth chapter? Yeah. It says this is the curse that goes forth over the whole earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's going into the, uh, the chariots as well. But ultimately, it's talking about the destruction, man, that fire, man. That's why it says, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned. You know, that destruction, that, that, that which the chariots are going to get busy as well, <laughs> is what's coming, man. And few men left, man. So, again, you know, the, the, the great reset, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to empty the earth. And those few men that's going to be left is the elect, man. You know, right. the one third, you know, and those women and children that, are, that are basically are attached to those men, man. You know, which is going to uh, be the first fruits of the coming king kingdom, and, and through them, it's going to it's going to bring forth the two third that that uh, uh, is going to die on this side, man. Bring right. uh, uh, the past what's that Romans uh, uh, eleven and twenty six, and and all Israel shall be saved. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just want to. You know, yeah. Beautiful, brother. Huh? Hey, the, the earth is defiled, man, and the inhabitants thereof, man. <laughs> That's what. They have, they have not abided by the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. Those ways are being neglected by the planet Earth, man. But that's why the Lord goes into this scripture right here, Isaiah 45. It says, Isaiah 45 and 9, it says, Woe unto him, meaning destruction unto him that striveth with his maker. That's what you saw even been doing the whole damn time. <coughs> He's been in rulership, man. He's been striving with the creator of the universe, man. It says, Let the pot shirt strive. With the potsherds of the earth, shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What makest thou? Or thy work? He hath no hands. And that's what the so called white man has done this whole entire time, man. He tried to make other nations different names than what they've been given throughout biblical uh, definition, man. Okay? 
a Moabite is really a, a, a Chinese person, or Ammonite is really a right. Japanese person. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the Edomites. I'm, I'm white. Okay, I'm pure. I'm purity. No, man, you're a damn devil, man. Right. Okay, he, he tells people that they can be other genders and other, uh, tr basically transform them, make over into something that they weren't created to be. Or you can just say, hey, I'm gender fluid. You know, all of this is coming from the devil, man. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna read that same verse in the NLT. It says Isaiah 45 and 9. It says, What sorrow awaits those who argue with their creator? Mm -hmm. Does a clay pot argue with this maker? Does the clay dispute with the one who shapes it, saying, Stop, you're doing it wrong? Does the pot ex does the does the pot claim, or no, it says, does does the pot exclaim how clumsy can you be <laughs> and that's the words of man of this devil man and what he's prideful but a pride go up before destruction and a haughty right. spirit before a fall man and the so-called white man his fall is not okay <laughs> that nigga said you doing it wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey man hey, that's not esau either man come on that's basically what he's saying i got another way you should not surely die yeah right. i got another way you know, it, it's not. You know, Al Hayim said it was good. Esau said, "No, it ain't." You know, I can make. I can do something. You know what I'm saying? I can, hey, bro, that's why this nigga is. <laughs> that's why this nigga is trying to do what he do now, man. He wants to change. He didn't. He didn't gotten the fruit. He didn't gotten the food. He didn't gotten the animal. Now he want to give him to you, man. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, that, you can go back to that uh, habit cook for that one because it's gonna go down into that. Can I can I just when I back you with this one right here? Uh, Isaiah reiterated that too in uh, Isaiah uh, twenty nine. This is in Isaiah twenty nine and sixteen. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, or shall the work say of it of him that made it he made me not, or shall the thing framed say say of him that framed it he had no understanding. Oh, so and Esau did that Big Bang Theory. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? All these things he's saying that that that, that the Most High. Didn't do these things, but I'm going to read it in the NLT. Uh, this is uh, uh, Isaiah 29 and 16 in NLT. How foolish can you be? He is the potter, and he is certainly greater than you. The clay, should the should the, the clay, should the created thing say of the one who made it, he didn't make me? Does a jar ever <laughs> say the potter who made me is stupid? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So basically, that's what these devils or, or trying to say of the Lord, man, you know, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. He's stupid, you know. So and that's why really at the end of the day, this dude, uh, 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 you know, after after the Lord created everything and, and said, uh, uh, you know, he looked on everything and said it is it is well or it's good. I can't exactly, you know, roughly paraphrasing. This nigga came back behind it and did something different, like with the fruit, you know, this is a, a, a GMO and, and makes his own fruit. You know what I'm saying? No seed, seedless. Did not the Lord know what he was doing when he created a fruit with seeds, you know, so you could uh, 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 replicate it uh, uh, just like <laughs> reproduce. seeds reproduce. There it is. Reproduce just like us, man. That seed, you know, what I'm saying and it, and it reproduces the same thing with the fruit. But here this nigga comes, you know, and as a matter of fact, he's trying to he's trying to <laughs> with, with like children. This nigga's trying to do uh, uh, what's the uh, like what it. Uh, uh, the, the, it's, they're not real. It's like uh, test tube babies. Well, test not test tube. It's like when you that that virtual, uh, virtual. virtual. Yeah. The virtual babies, man. Yeah. This thing is trying to come up with virtual babies where there ain't no the where you you know if you want to deal with a child, you don't have to have an actual baby. You can just go in, in, in the, into his virtual reality and, and and deal with your with a child, man. So this is you know this nigga got to go, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know he 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 basically said the Lord don't know what the hell he did what he was doing man you know we got a better way you know that's why he's trying to be as the most high to, as the con said you know it's like this have a coup too before it says behold his soul which is lifted up it's not upright in it right take it <coughs> you want me to get yeah, cup. <coughs> cup, cup. you need some water bro cup, man. huh this is uncle good man well, where you at? Second number six? No, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Oh, Habakkuk 2. Okay, come. I'll grab it for you. It's Habakkuk chapter 2 and uh, verse 4. And it reads, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Right. See, the soul of the so-called white man is not lifted up. It's, I mean, it's, it's not lifted up upright in him, man. Okay? Because, look, he's the wicked. We're the righteous, being the sons of God. And the wicked 
It cannot learn righteousness, alluding to Isaiah 26. Okay, this is why this man does devilish and fear, uh, uh what you call it, uh, uh, thrill, thrill riding things like jump out of plane, okay, mm -hmm. with a parachute, mm -hmm. and he leave all his faith and uh, <laughs> he leave all his faith <laughs> left up to one pull of a string. Right. And if that sucker don't come out, hey, he's splat, right. man, just like that. But see, his spirit is not upright in him. And also, when you go into Hebrews chapter 12, <laughs> it talks about repentance wasn't found toward him, man. Okay? Yeah. For him doing what? Selling his birthright over for a, pork, a, a morsel of uncooked meat. The Lord deemed him a, a wicked, profane being from that point on for eternity, man. So he can never repent. Okay? His soul is not upright. Hey, if I can quickly say that's a good example when you say he jump out of a uh, plane all the time and try to pull that parachute. What did uh, Satan tell you how he tried to do it on the mountain? Jump and basically have uh, um, yeah. the, yeah, how would it save you? And he was like, you should not tempt to, you know, tempt all the time. Lord, yeah. <laughs> and that's what he saw do all the time. They do that as a thrill. Let me jump off this, uh, uh, out of this plane and, and pull this cord. And I'm, my, my, what is it? My invention going to save me. That's tempting the Lord. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, even when you got a, you got a uh, fucking YouTube channel, this nigga, man, this nigga actually get different types of animals and, and let them bite them and right. sting them. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. You know? Yeah. This nigga, this nigga, right. what? Person in right mind would do some shit like right, that. Right, right, man, <laughs> right. Man. Crazy. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, back in Habakkuk 2, at the end of verse 4, it says, well, I just, I'll read it again, verse 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by, by his faith. Mm. And the just, those are the Israelites, man. Mm. We're going to live by the faith, proceeding out of these scriptures, man, given to us by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. You know, yeah. it says, "Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man." Go well, that pride. <laughs> See, he transgresses by wine, man. Mm -hmm. He transgresses by the things that he put out, uh, put forth throughout the earth. Christianity, okay, uh, uh, do as do as thou wilt. The whole Big Bang theory, okay. Uh, man can be with man, and woman can be with woman, man. Okay, doing that which is unseemly against nature. These things he has transgressed this by, which is his philosophies. That's what that wine is talking about. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know that 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 this is talk. This proves who these things are talking about. These things have been uh, 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 put throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Everywhere you go, these things are happening, man. The things that 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 the Quran just mentioned, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you got you got uh, uh, these nations. Uh, uh, like, like for instance, China or, or, or so-called Asians, they're wearing suit and ties, man. They got a damn dick around their neck, you know. So like you, you know, excuse my friends, got a penis around their neck, you know, and wearing suits, man. Right. That's not their customs. You know what I'm saying? You have to uh, 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 learn English if you want to get a, a, a pilot's license. If you want to uh, fly a plane, you know what I'm saying? Proving who's ruling, man. So it proves who these things, who has that sway on the earth, man, who these things are talking about, man. That's right. You know? But then you got these unlearned, these stupid niggas out here that want to say it's not the so-called white man. It is him, man. You know, and, and those are the proofs, man. It's so many that you can prove who this talk who this is talking about. So that wine, man. So so like if we go back. Uh it says, uh, yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, that pride too. Is another thing, you know, the proudest person or, or nation of people on the planet is the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman and child, man. You know, they walk around in pride and you got all manner of examples proving that, man. You know, what's the mottos? Uh, 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 the few, the proud, the <coughs> Marines. Right. That's that pride, man. You know, what's the song? I'm proud to be an American. That's that's come on, man. These things prove who this dude is, who, who this is talking about, man. That pride, man. Mm -hmm. So he's a proud man. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gath gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Mm -hmm. And think about it. Who has done that? Who has left their own region or, or place of uh, 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 dwelling and went out into the world and gathered all these other nations and people mm -hmm. and different resources from other countries and, and put up, put in queue, uh, coups in different governments mm -hmm. to sway the people into democracy mm -hmm. and your wine and gather them to himself. The so-called white man, the only nation that done that. Exactly. 
Uh, Arabs don't do that. They don't right. leave that country to go into another country. Right. Chinese don't do that. I mean, um, uh, Moab, Moabites don't leave that country to go into other countries and try to grab people and, and get a hold to them spiritually, emotionally, and physically with their doctrines. Mm -hmm. No other nation on the planet is doing that but the so-called self-proclaimed white man. Mm -hmm. They don't know what. I will say they're the only one with the, uh, these these different uh, uh, embassies. Right. I was just, fucking well, that's the spirit. You know? I was just for the guy. That's what I was about to say, bro. God, God. Now, this nigga got an embassy in all these other countries, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's come on, bro. You know he says he need to keep it at home, man. He's always mm -hmm. in other people's business. You know what I'm saying? This nigga worried about the about the uh, and of course it's always an agenda. It's like during the time he's worrying about the damn uh, uh, opium, uh, the, the what's the plant with the op that yeah. produced that opium, opium. Yeah, okay. you know, yeah. and, and he was worried about that over there, poppy, the yeah, poppy, poppy con, yeah. con, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, but it's always an agenda with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that's you know, but the point is, that's what brings these things about, man. This nigga stays in other people's business, worrying about their affairs, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tr put his uh, uh, democracy, you know. Forces democracy on them, and they don't want it. That's why you got all these nations, you know, death to America. Uh, we hate America. They hate this place, man. You know, they don't want your, they don't want your, uh, uh, your, your uh, democracy, man. Right. You know. Yeah, that's why it says uh, Psalm one forty uh, that he ima uh, imagined mischief continually. And what is that mischief? His lies, his, his evil, wicked ways. He constantly goes somewhere and basically say, "We're going to do this for you and do that for you." Because like I said, he, uh, the words is not the smoother than butter, but what's it, his words in his heart. So while he tells them, they're like, man, that sounds good. <coughs> hey, well, we're going to protect you from them, or we're going to help you out. And then once we get you out of your uh, um, your, uh, your your rulership, you know, because you got your ruling, I want to get out from under them, we're going to help and bring uh, this embassy over here and stay in for a while to help you get things in order, bring forth a democracy. But then, like you said, that's basically a lie. That's mischief. Cause when you when he really gets settled in and get your uh, uh, get your 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 power or your uh, government out the way, these other countries, what did he do? He bring in his puppets and then he brings forth the uh, democracy and do what? Bring forth a debt society. All right, and that what he did in um uh, uh, not Syria but uh, Gaddafi in uh, Libya. <laughs> you know, they had free water. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, when they they get healthcare, healthcare like forty thousand dollars to have a baby, uh, and all this and that. And what did he saw do? He went over there, blew up their water supply. He basically killed it. They, they was he's a dictator. Hey, he probably wouldn't the best that you know, but I'm sure he was better than Esau patrolling over there. Yeah, yeah, Shit. Sure <laughs> Not even that. They owe everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's going. It's actually <laughs> going into that. You know, mm -hmm. that, with that, that that thick clay. You know what I'm saying? I have a quick one, bro. Okay, come, come. Jeremiah 51 to 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Mm. They made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, the brothers going, it's kind of going into, man. You know, they, 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 Esau comes, you know, and it, it seems good. Yeah. You know, once they drink that, like, like, you got this, this is like a bottle. Yeah. You know, just, they got a fancy ass bottle. Like, right. I know that shit good. I, right. I know that shit good. <laughs> good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You got this gold and shit. You know, yeah, you know, man, you pop that bit. And, you know, you drink the shit, then you get, you know, you get tipped, but then your ass the next day you fucked up. Worst thing over here in the life. You know what I'm right. saying? You <laughs> said, oh, man, it's some. You like this yes. shit? Yes. Yeah, they ain't never yeah. drinking this shit again. Yeah. They mad. Mm -hmm. they, it said that. Right. It said that like they said he had changed a portion of my uh, my people. Mm -hmm. You know, he saw totally change. He comes in like you said, like with Gaddafi now, bro. That yeah. was that was better off, bro. Better off. Yep. If they fucking devil didn't come in, bro. You know, it was this guy. One, I, 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 okay, I know who he was. He was the first guy when, um, uh, after Iraq, after they basically got, um, Saddam Hussein out of power, he was one of the first ones that came and hit his statue. And they had an interview with him. He was like, This is, I, I believe, this was one of the worst mistakes we made because <laughs> we had this nigga Esau in here and he came and <laughs> we was cheering at one point. Yeah, now we, yeah, yeah, now yeah. we in sorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why. That's why they hate this place, man. Yeah. Damn, do a better get that chat yeah. back, man. Yeah. That's why, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey, at the end of that's what this dude does, <laughs> man. You know, and that, as a matter of fact, back in uh, Half Cooper Second Chapter, it says, uh, uh, he enlargeth his desire as hell, mm -hmm. and is as death, which that proves it ain't talking about a, a place that you go to burn, man. Right. His it, he enlargeth his desire 
as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? So because he's insatiable, you know, he he you can't no matter you can't he can't get enough, right? You know, this nigga owns the diamond district, but if you got a couple of diamonds over there, he wants those too. You know, he don't want you to have <laughs> nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he's insatiable. So that's that hell he brings his his democracy and, and oppression and, and puts hell on, on, on the people, man. Do mm -hmm. oppression, you know, and the things that you know, his policies and laws, it says and and is as death, which when you read in uh, a revelation, the sixth chapter, uh, it goes into that, you know, uh, that pale horse, man, you know, and death, uh, uh, which, what that sat upon him was death and hell followed, right? You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? Because, and, and uh, there's a, a, a Edomite uh, by the name of Barbara Marks Hubbard, who, who made the statement, we are the riders of the pale horse, mm. you know, they know that it's them that it's talking about, man. And they, and that all of these things prove that, that it ain't talking about, you know, when it says uh, 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 death and hell follow, they know that ain't talking about no damn fire, man, right. that you go to die and go to and burn, man. They know it's it's talking about the things that they do to people, man, the oppression, the death, the things that they that they do, man, that they bring upon you uh, and cannot be satisfied. That's, 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 he's insatiable, man. You can't satisfy this nigga. He can't get enough. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, the brother already broke down the, the, the uh, gathering of the nations and heaping all the people. So we're going to go to verse six real, real quick. It says, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long and to him that that latest that latest latest himself with big play. <laughs> and that's that debt that the brother just broke down, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he made the the the. the uh, the, a beautiful point of, of Gaddafi and, and the people and the things that he was doing for his people and how they came over. That's why they killed Gaddafi, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he rejected that shit. He didn't want that crap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what America do. Yeah, you know? it's a, it's a uh, what you call it? Uh, it's a ditch or a, mm -hmm. a snare. Because they're like, what? Why we would take this this dollar, this petrol dollar? We got real gold over here, man. We don't need your currency, man. And Gaddafi was not happy, right? No. And that's why that's why they killed him, man. And that's what America does. I say, do it does. You know what I'm saying? You know. So you know, we can go back. You know, that's 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 the point. That's, uh, hey, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get that NLT, bro. Okay, yeah, verse five, uh, six. I was on six. Okay, okay this uh, Habakkuk two and six in the NLT. It says, "But their captives will taunt them; they will mock them, saying, what sorrow awaits you, thieves? Mm. Now you will get what you deserve. You became uh, you become rich by exhaustion. But how how much longer can this go on?" <laughs> Hey, that's the taunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they up there telling them, you know what I'm saying? Thief. Yeah. <laughs> that robber and thief. Yeah. That in John? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that kill still kills right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we see that in these other countries, man. They be burning up the flag. You know what I'm saying? Like they like you say, they be changing stuff to America. Right. You know what I'm saying? All these things, I'll try to say, y'all. Oh, I uh, can't believe that. They come over here like Russia and Ukraine. They telling uh going to Ukraine and doing this and that. But what have you done? You have went in all these different countries and and blew up hospitals and different things. And then just blow it blow it over like the wind. Like it, hey, it, hey, it happens. You know what I'm saying? Went over to Iraq and started a war for weapons of mass destruction. And what did they say later? He didn't have them. Well, you know, hey, what can we do? What can you do? It's done. It's a done deal. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> Fool me twice, uh, shame on me. Not no fool. Yeah, fool me again. Fool me again. Oh my god! God damn. Well, well, but yeah. that's the that's the damn devil, though. You know what I'm saying? He he know his agenda, but when he when it actually does it, and you find out like, hey, there was a damn, this was mischief. It was a lie. You, they just be like, oh, what? we're sorry, we didn't, we didn't know ourselves. Right. Oh, you knew that. You knew that when you going in that you didn't have that. You knew that, but you wanted to go in there and set what an embassy up, set your agenda up, and and because you wanted the, you wanted something out of it. You want to take heap of all things. That's what the devil wants. Insatiable. <coughs> like, no. Go ahead. Real quick, I was just gonna say it's being made known openly, and the elders been speaking about this as well too. How these nations are starting to pretty much come to the agreement of America being small, looking weak. Mm -hmm. Just like the scriptures say, 
have we become small, or have you become small among yes. the heathen? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, among, among the heathen. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. they started to make satires about how America looks yep. so stupid right, right. now. Yep. Them, uh, what was it? Uh, it was a country. I forgot what heathen nation this was, but they had like a little. Oh, I think it was the uh, it was Ishmaelites. They had like a little satire on there with Joe Biden being up there on, behind the stage, yeah. and, and Kamala, Kamala uh, Harris yeah. was standing next to him, and they basically making mockery of him. Yeah, right? They did the day. And then he saw Tom falling upon his own self when he went into the little uh, Congress or uh, uh, little platform that Texas got out there in, uh, I forgot what city it was, but the dude was like, oh yeah, we're all gay now. That's that's that's, oh, yeah. that's pretty much everything. That was Plano on. somewhere, right? In Plano, yeah, yeah Plano. Yeah. And the dude, and the dude uh, got up there, he was rapping, talking about, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm cool and whatnot. Like, yeah. bro, hey, everybody's seeing how stupid America looking right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to make that point. It says uh, in the NLT in verse six, you became rich by extortion. When you looked it up, that word extortion it says the practice of, of obtaining something, especially money through force or threat. Mm-hmm. He so got whipped by the sword, man. Mm-hmm. By the nigga sword. Like, going back, all the way back to the, uh, the uh, Genesis, man. Mm-hmm. You know, that blessing, he gonna get the fat of his. He gonna rule by the sword. Mm-hmm. That's how he got what he got, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, through the force of that sword, man. Mm-hmm. You know, but the Lord, uh, hey, the Lord is about to, uh, uh, you know, like how I said, told told uh, uh, Peter, man, hey, put up your sword. You live by the sword, basically you're gonna die by it, man. Yep. You see, so the same sword he saw glorified in, and, you know, it puffs itself up in, man. It's, it's the same thing he gonna he gonna be destroyed by, mm-hmm. you know. So read that first part again, though. He said, read it again. Yeah, for, yeah. Okay, this is uh Habakkuk two <coughs> six in the NLT. It says, but soon their captives will taunt them. They will mock them, saying, "What sorrow awaits you, thieves?" Now you will get what you deserve. You've been you become rich by extortion, but how how much longer can this go on? So those thieves, man, you know, <coughs> and, and, and who is that talking about? It's talking about the Esau, man, the Edomites, so-called self-proclaimed white men. And uh and John, you know, the Lord is speaking, and, and he and he said he said the same things, talking about slain people. It says John 10 and 10. The thief, them same thieves, cometh not but for to steal and to kill. And to destroy that's this nigga's mo man that's what he does and of course he's dealing with the israelites and the things he that they did to, to israel you know you know the, the, the goodly treasures and hell the people themselves this nigga stole destroyed those people mm-hmm. and and, and uh, uh put them to death and, and did all these things to those people but you can apply that overall that's what this nigga does man so it says the thief was he saw coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come that they which is talking about the israelites might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so the lord is bring is coming to to change all of that man you know he's going to take this nigga down and establish his people and set them up that they may have life and have it more abundantly man you know take it out of the hand take the the the, the uh the the power seat out of the hands of these devils and give it to the rightful people begin to start with with, with you know of course your himself man you know what i'm saying but his people under him in that joint air with him that's right this lay them back. Uh, this is Jeremiah 49 and 9. It says, If great gatherers come to thee, would they not have, leave some great gleaning grapes? If these by night, they will destroy till they have enough. It says, So, uh, like you said, it, I, I read this in the NLT. It says, Those who harvest grapes always leave a fear for the poor. If <laughs> these come at night, they would not take everything. <laughs> Is it uh, uh but so Esau he comes he won't leave you anything. It's like them cartoons when uh he's grab like you know he up and grab something and then they'll run off the screen and somebody's gonna grab something else and they'll pop back up and grab the last little piece and be gone. That's Esau. Esau won't want you to have nothing. What is they uh dollar bill on uh players love? I ain't giving them country boys nothing. That's Esau, he don't want to leave you with anything. And that's that Habakkuk too, too. You know, mm-hmm. uh, he cannot be satisfied, man. You know what I'm saying? He's insatiable, man. This nigga, mm-hmm. is, you know, like the, you know, the point that was made. You got some. He owns the diamond dish, but if you have a few, he wants those, those too. He don't want. He don't want you to have nothing, man. You can with those over there, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to grab some too. You said something about uh, basically like your house. I came with. We can have like the future, but more, but life more money. Yeah. This is uh Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven in the NLT. It says, "For I know the plans I have for you," said says the Lord. There are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. You know, the Lord got, hey man, he, he you know, 
like like a brother red man the lord hey how about shimmy all shot got he got plans for us man for us to have a future that's right for us to have a hope man. that's right you know right you have that faith you say what you want to make in uh second edge yeah yeah all right back in second edge six in verse um uh, uh, verse 20 it says and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished then will i show thee these tokens the book shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together and that, that wisdom not as understanding is how that book can be opened man, <coughs> the prophets. okay because yahweh he was worthy uh, to uh open the seals of the book but that same power was given to his men they let okay so we're opening the book and we're what digesting these prophecies and we're going out and speaking to man you know yeah how yeah, should i open up that understanding man mm -hmm. see uh, verse 22 is uh, verse 21. So, what's that? Revelation 3, ain't it? Yeah, uh, I stand at the door and knock, you mm -hmm. know, he'll suck with you, let him in. Which is it's set up to, for those that that to, to do that were predestined, preordained from the foundation of the, uh, of, of the world. Ephesians, the first chapter, mm -hmm. you know, that chosen before that, that uh, uh, what's the uh, predestined, I guess, um, those predestinated, yeah, kind of, kind of, you got it. Okay, verse 21, it says. The children of a year shall speak, shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. Yeah. It's, it's like the woman, the woman with child is gonna have these kids and be raised up. That's talking about the nation of Israel. We're liking them unto a woman over to the most high. Okay, but we're gonna have children that what are gonna be raised up. That's talking about the elect, because in Ezekiel 37. It talks about that breath being breathed into us and our bones lived again because what we understood who we were again right. okay this knowledge wasn't something that we knew uh coming into the 1800s and the 20 the 21st uh the, the 20th century and the 21st century we just got this understanding years ago okay so that, that that's those children are the elect raising up with that with that breath uh, breathe 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 back into them from the most high mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you all. yeah verse 22 it says um and suddenly shall the song places appear unsown. Mm -hmm. The full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. Now that's talking about the famine, man. Suddenly shall these 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 full <coughs> storehouses be found empty, man. And we're seeing that happen right now, man. Okay, a uh, 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 doomsday prepper or somebody who basically brings out a lot of uh, information online that we look at. Right. They said that, man. Pretty much, we're living in the last ten weeks of the harvest for this summertime. Okay, because what they're doing. They're gathering up the, the, the rest of the food, and then for this winter, they pretty much gonna be struggling with these inflated prices of how to uh, raise the cattle, feed the cattle, going out to get certain stocks and uh, 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 agricultural uh, tools that they need. That those costs are gonna be inflated. So when <laughs> this whole winter time coming, it might not even be food for the next year, man. We're living pretty much in the last bit of the harvest for this summer. So we can, we can definitely see that hard winter playing out this winter man okay pray that your fight be not in the winter that might just happen this winter but hey no man know the hour nor the day so what we're still supposed to be fervent we're still supposed to watch and pray you know that's right verse 23 it says and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it they shall suddenly they shall be suddenly afraid yep and when that when that sound come what, what sound being blown right now is the uh the prophets okay giving you that warning repent before the day of the lord come upon you man okay repent before all hell breaks loose okay daniel 12 and 1 like a time that's never happened before happened on the planet man you know mm -hmm. so that, that that's that uh that trumpet being blown right now you know and then people realizing that they damn what we're saying is true yep you know they ass gonna be afraid then yep. you know it says uh verse 24 <coughs> at that time shall free and fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and the springs of the fountains shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run now, at the beginning of that verse he said hey friends are gonna fight and family fight one another because of what because of the times that's coming upon us famine okay people gonna die of thirst all right people gonna die just just from their hearts spelling them of this world being destroyed or the present society being destroyed man all right these people not gearing themselves up for this destruction uh, uh, to america man okay so they're gonna fight together <laughs> their brother uh, just brought out a scripture earlier in Sirach about how a friend is not known in uh, 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 a, fr a friend is not known in, uh, a 
a friend is known in prosperity, but he's not known in adversity. Okay, and in adversity, you don't know a friend, man. Okay, now we're, we're brothers through the word and through the spirit, but these people out here, they don't have nothing really holding their relationships firm and steady. The, the Yahweh Shimon Shah is holding our relationships together, man. Okay, through the, through this ministry, and and we love one another, man. But hey, these people out here don't love love each other, man. Right. Okay, <laughs> when they when they yeah. die hungry, man, you know. Adversity is gonna bring out the true character, of the character of a, of a person, man. Right. Like the brother said, they gonna they, these people spew nothing but love. I love you. I love you. Love, love, love. Mm-hmm. We gonna see when adversity hits. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, 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 if they really about that, man. They whole character is, is gonna change, man. You see, like you said, bro. Bro, a friend is not known as prosperity. Why? Because you got everything. And then, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. But if your friend is known when you're when you in adversity, if you right. you know struggling, he's deep he down the ride with you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, majority of the majority of the time, it, it, it's not. They, yeah. they even got the same when you up in the world, you got friends. As soon as you're down, everybody abandon your ass, mm-hmm. man. You know? You got that last little water, and you know, y'all trying to share it, and you got one of them like, hey, man, get a little bit of heat up, yeah. drinking all of it. He gonna get slew by the one that he gave the water. You know the one that gave me the water. You know, that's the, you know that's that's what they'll be. He disrespected him by drinking up the water, and he's gonna do what? Try to slay him because that when like I said, the adversity is. What that uh saying? <laughs> angry, you hungry? <laughs> angry yeah, yeah. You, you, get, you, get, you so you so hungry, you get angry. Yeah, that's gonna hit. You gotta think because yeah. of the climate, the, what's going on outside. You you may not you ain't got probably not, not have no AC. Uh, doing the heat, probably will have no heat during the winter. It's gonna get real bad. So you're gonna have you gonna what you gotta see where that brother he loves gonna be at in those times. And these niggas just out in the streets, on the, you know, they ain't gonna be two brothers. It was, you would have said, I gotta get George. Uh, you gotta, I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine. That's that's Jake saying, you know, hell with you. I gotta get mine. So that's and, and then when adversity hits, that's when you're gonna see. Jake acting like a real, uh, the real niggers who definitely gonna come in. It ain't gonna be about all love, either. Yep. So if it ain't a brother, <coughs> if it ain't a brother, don't trust him. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Straight up. Mm-hmm. I don't care if a nigga, hey, has been on the elders, you know what I'm saying, heavy lately to say too. Right. Quit being fucking friendly, man. You see a nigga on Instagram and some, you know, mm-hmm. try one, man. Don't mean that nigga is cool, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. You gotta get out that fucking friendly ass spirit, man. Mm-hmm. They got their fucking friendly spirit on them, man. Mm-hmm. And the scriptures say, try the spirit by the spirit, man. Right. You can't just, just cause he, they said shalom wrong. They don't let me, mm-hmm. man. You know, you don't know nothing about this person, man. You know, try the spirit, man. Cause the spirit is going to reveal everything, man. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. And I think it's actually going into that because you just made that example. Somebody about man. the dragon of the water. Mm-hmm. I think it's going, hey, it's going to go into that. I think it's going into that if you keep reading. What, what verse did you stop at? Uh, twenty four. Okay, that okay, that's the one. Okay, then. So you read it already. Right. Okay, come. On. Did you read it? Yeah, I can read it again. Okay, come. On. All right, this uh second chapter six and twenty four says, "At that time shall friend fight uh, one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein, and the springs of fountains shall not shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run." Come on, that's the one. Oh yeah, so that's yeah. I don't know yet. I already read it. Though. That stream, so called love, and some stream, the stream. Hate is gonna be a one eighty real quick. Like you said, friends gonna fight like enemies. <laughs> and you know how niggas act, man. Okay, they gonna blame everything <laughs> on their children, just like the Kahan brought out. They gonna blame. Man, I got kids. My mm-hmm. daughter, mm-hmm. my son. He, he man, look, Jake is slick, man. I don't put nothing past these niggas and these women outside mm-hmm. of the truth, man. Okay, because everything is about a uh, uh, agenda with these niggas, man. Okay, so in that day, you're gonna see all of that wickedness be put on the forefront and displayed when hey, people can't eat, people can't drink, you can't party and be in the mirthful type of mode. And we're gonna see this the real, the real true niggas show that show they uh the ways about themselves, man. Right, right, you know, yep, they're just like just that the movie Matrix, bro. Everybody who won, everybody who won unplugged, they was fucking. You couldn't trust them, bro. Mm-hmm. You know they can flip like that. You know they become yeah. a fucking agent. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Your enemy. You know? so everybody who went unplugged is the enemy, man. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, just go go down to where it says that the way of truth shall be. I like that. Like the 
verse, I believe. <coughs> it says, more all right, all right. Continue on, verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all, all these that ha I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation at the end of your world. Right. Whoever shall remain of all these, okay, whoever shall basically get through it, through the will and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah, calling on the true names, okay, holding fast to what thou hast obtained, okay. Hey, the scripture talk about Revelation 3. Him that overcometh, okay, to him I will uh, grant, grant a seat. Or, or, or next to me on, on my throne, right. okay, in the heavens. Okay, how you gonna overcome it by not taking that book, man? You know, you got to. Uh, verse 26 it says, And the man that that are received shall see it, mm -hmm. who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. One or two, chapter six. <coughs> yep, verse 26. I read it again, it says, And the man that are received shall see it. Who have not tasted uh, death from their birth? Because Yahweh shall even spoke of that man. That's there, there, there be men among you that shall not mm -hmm. taste the death right. until they see the Son of Man. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it says, um, and their heart shall, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed, but we're gonna become a new creature. You know, yep. new bodies, man. You know, it turned into another meaning. You know, <coughs> so we're gonna become some new man. That's the, that's we're gonna be into that. That's the that's gonna be the entering into that new company, man. We in them bodies, man. Yep, you know, right, yep. we be changed. You know what I'm saying? And then that last one for it says, uh, it says yeah, for sure. Sure. Yeah, that's it. All right, verse 27 says, For evil shall be put out. Evil gonna be put out, okay. Death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire, okay. We're meaning that we ain't gonna be able to die again, okay. Immortality gonna be put on, okay. Hell be the meaning that uh, us being put in captivity, being under these heathens, not being the first, mm -hmm. and then being the damn first. Okay, we being the last, all that's gonna be put over into nuclear fire, man. Okay. It says, for evil shall be put out and the seat shall be quenched. The seat gonna be quenched, this devil ain't gonna be able to the fool the nations, primarily fooling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, making you think you you the low of the world, man. Yeah. Verse 28 as for faith that shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, overcome, mm -hmm. and the truth which have been long. So long without fruit shall be declared. Yep. And the truth, which have been so long without <laughs> fruit, because hey, this truth, okay, we're, we're going out on the highways and byways to compel people to repent and get them to come into the fold. But hey, this truth, man, it's 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 been a it's been a while, man. Our apostles and elders been out here since the late sixties, and they didn't get this mass great awakening until two thousand seven. Right. You know, so hey, the the, the, the faith is going to be <laughs> show in that day, man, and truth is going to be revealed. Okay, because everything that we prophesy in these scriptures, man, like Ezekiel said, a prophet, uh, there that should be there, there they shall know that a prophet have been among them. That's when they're gonna know when all these calamities that we, we, we prophesy to them come to pass. That's right, you know. That's it. Hey, so Lord willing, oh, did you have something? Yeah, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying, you know. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.